In this video, we're going to look at the Yes Welder Firsta CT2050 7-in-1 multifunction welder and cutter. The Yes Welder Firsta CT2050 provides the user with AC TIG, AC Pulse TIG, DC TIG, DC Pulse TIG, stick, no-touch pilot arc, and a built-in compressor. These different modes can be selected by the user with only simple clicks and with a built-in compressor it means maximum portability. This new multi-process welding machine is equipped with a wide LED display for mode changing, parameter settings, and real-time status tracking. Since this product can be used by both rookies and experts, there are already basic pre-setting setups for new users to explore, while experts can personalize the machine via manual adjustments. The first of CT2050 is a dual voltage machine, can run on both 110 volts and 220 volt input power. The 45 amp plasma cutter non-touch pilot arc can be used with either an external compressor or using the convenient built-in air compressor. The CT2050 incorporates dual IGBT technology and can provide a smooth stable arc which will let you weld with a compact light unit. It also has PFC technology which is a power factor controller and it gives you the highest energy efficiency and a wide voltage range within 96 volts to 265 volts. And that would be suitable for most small household projects as well as larger projects. This CT2050 machine comes with an IPL45 cutting torch, WP26 TIG torch, 220 volt to a 110 volt power adapter, electrode holder, ground clamp, gas hose with 5 8 inch dash 18 connector and vinyl tube and clamps and weighs approximately 50 pounds. Well, let's go through the control board or the controls for the Yes Welder Firstus CT2050 multi-process welder. So if you look up in the upper left hand corner we've got weld mode just below that is torch mode. On the right hand side on the bottom is thickness and above that is weld position. Off up here in the upper left hand corner you've got five different modes to choose from AC, TIG, DC TIG, stick, cut, and then cut compressor. Cut is if you're going to use an external air compressor and cut compressor is if you're going to use the internal air compressor to cut with the plasma torch. The torch mode, you've got 2T, 4T, and foot pedal. And then over here, the weld position and thickness, those are pre-programmed settings if you're gonna use the smart mode. So if you're in AC TIG, and that's the only mode that this works in, you press that smart mode button, and then it opens up these two menus over here. You've got weld position, so you've got flat, vertical, and overhead. And then it gives you five different settings for thickness. They go from 18 gauge to 3 16 of an inch or one millimeter to three millimeter on thickness settings. And the way that works is you select the position. So for right now it's in flat or horizontal. And then you select this different thickness of your metal and it'll give you a preset setting. Now when you're in this smart mode you cannot change any of the settings. Once you attempt to change the setting it will come right out of that smart mode automatically. So these are only preset for AC TIG. When you push the center button in and hold it down for three to five seconds it'll put the machine into pulse mode. So let's just look at AC TIG as an example. Right now the red light is on the uh, amperage setting and it shows you amps here so you can set that to whatever amperage you want and it goes the range is from 5 amps to 200. The next setting would be background and you've got pulse time 0.2 seconds up to 200 and you've got uh, duty cycle everywhere from 10 to 90 downslope stop amperage post gas 0.1 to 15 seconds AC balance or your uh, cleaning and that's in positive so you can go from 10 to 65 
The higher the number, the higher the cleaning. Pulse hertz from 20 hertz, clear up to 250 hertz. Or pre-gas, 0.5 seconds. You can go from 0.1 to 15 seconds. Start amperage, upslope, and then back to your standard amperage, whatever you set that at. So let's take the pulse off by holding this button down for three to five seconds. And now you're in just standard AC TIG mode. Then you go down into DC TIG and you've got the same exact controls. Standard, hold that button in for three, not, uh, three seconds. And now you're in pulse with all of the same controls. 2T and 4T modes and foot pedal mode. If you're using the uh, actual TIG torch that came with the machine and you want to use amperage control knob on the TIG torch you have to be in foot pedal mode. If you're in foot pedal mode and you're using the uh, dial on the uh, TIG torch the amperage setting on the machine does not change. So just as an example if you had this set at a hundred amps and you were using foot pedal mode with the TIG torch you had your TIG torch dial set on 5, which is halfway on the scale. It goes from 0 to 10. My understanding is you'd be running actually at 50 amps. So that's an interesting feature that I have never used before. And then 4T would be for the finger switch. Press it once, release it, goes through your upslope up to the max amps and it'll run until you press it again and then it'll downslope down to your stop amps and once you release it, it will extinguish the arc. And that's the control settings for the Yes Welder versus CT2050 multiprocess machine. Now for the welding portion of the testing out of this uh, new Yes Welder machine, I wanted to talk about just a couple of things. This is the standard TIG torch that has the controlling dial and the finger switch with standard consumables. I did test out the torch and it all works as you would expect. For personal preferences, I'm going to be changing this out to what I prefer, which is just going to be a flex head WP26 torch head, and I'm going to use the foot pedal off of my TIG 250P machine. This works just fine, but it's a little bit heavy, and I just personally can't get comfortable with this European style torch. So I'll switch it out. I'm going to remove the plastic sheath. I'm also going to switch this out to a stubby gas lens. So I've just got a WP26 flex head torch with a Amazon cheap gas lens, stubby gas lens kit. I've got a number, I think it's a number seven cup on there. And uh, remove the plastic and the finger switch and I'll just be using the foot pedal. This does have a nice flexible hose inside that liner or that protective sheath in case you're curious. But this lightens up the torch. I'm used to this style torch and it just works really good. It's a real simple bolt-on upgrade that you can make and it costs around $30. The flex head torch I think is 20 bucks and then another nine or 10 for the uh, stubby gas lens kit. And I'll leave links for both of those in the description if you want to do this to your torch. But now you've got a flex head torch. It's still a size 26 so it's a good for 200 amps and it, it just fits in my hand real nice and I can get the angles and the, the comfort that I need with it. So I'll be using that along with that foot pedal and let's get set up and we'll run some welds. The AC TIG function uses a square waveform, incorporates high frequency arc ignition. The machine is also compatible with a foot pedal, however, a foot pedal is not included.
This is the cut with an external compressor and it shows you an external compressor there on the picture. You've got your main amperage anywhere from 12 amps to 45. You've got a downslope, a stop amperage, post gas, pre gas looks like from 0.6 to 3 seconds starting amperage, upslope, and then your main amperage. If you're in the 110 power, you'll have up to 25 amps. So from 12 to 25 for 110 and 12 to 45 for uh, 240 volts. And this is showing your input voltage. I'm currently plugged into a 240 volt outlet. And when you're in the internal compressor, all of the settings are identical for that mode. It's just you're using an external compressor or an internal compressor. The non-touch Pilot Arc Plasma Cutter with an integrated compressor has a 100% duty cycle at 45 amps and 220 volt input. It doesn't require direct contact with the metal and this allows you to cut rusty, painted, or dirty metal without pre-cleaning. You can go to the stick setting, get your main amperage control up to 200 amps, down to 10 amps. You've got arc force, 0 to 40 on the arc force. Hot start, 0.1 to 0.6, and then back to your main amperage. The stick welding function provides a hot start and a dig function and can also support 6010 stick electrodes and also is equipped with voltage reduction device and this provides a safe work environment and protects you from potential electric shock especially in complex environments like a cramped spaces or wet or damp areas. Overall, the Yes Welder First the CT2050 is a nice machine. I like the way it does the uh, full functions, including pulse, both on AC, DC for TIG, and the stick functions were really convenient. For the person who's looking for a new machine for your home shop, this would be a great machine, especially for those who are looking for a portable machine that has a built-in compressor. You can take that plasma cutter almost anywhere with the uh, 110 or 220 compatible input voltage and do a lot of real nice projects with this machine. Now yes Welder is making this machine available through a Kickstarter program. So if you're familiar with Kickstarter programs or want to save quite a bit off of the retail price, the Kickstarter would be the place to get it initially. 
Once the Kickstarter program is completed, it'll be available on their website. I'll put links to the Kickstarter program for those who are interested, or if you want to just read and learn more about the machine, I'll put those links in the description of this video. Once the Kickstarter program is complete and it's available through regular purchase on the Yes Welder website, I will update the links in the description of this video for those who are interested. Click the video on the screen for another great video and we'll see you over there.